Hey what's up guys this is IK from IMK Technical Hub and in this video I will show you that how to fix memory problem in Windows 10. So you can see I, I have opened task manager and here you can see the memory use is 96% and CPU is 57 and is increasing and also the disk space is 99%. If I go to performance here you can see the processor is using and no application has been opened only Google Chrome has been opened and uh, we can see that uh, memory uses is very high you can see the uh, the memory of this laptop is 8 gb and out of this 7.6 gb is in use and only 348 mb is left so i will tell you how to overcome this problem so let's get started you have to go to, you have to, go to the rigid option and for that you have to click on this window button and in the search bar you have to type r e g e t i t can see the rigid option click right click choose run as administrator and it will ask for admin permission do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device click yes so this type of screen will show you in the windows 10 but if you are in windows 7 or windows 8 what you can do you can go to the run command and for the run command you have to type the keyboard press the window plus r key simultaneously and here you have to type r e G E D I T resume. Click OK. And again, it will ask for admin permission. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. And now the registry option will show you like this. Now, what you have to do, uh, you have to go to the H key local machine. And you can see there is this one arrow on the left side. Click on that. And now you have to go to the system option as there is as the memory uses problem is in your system and not software so click on the system option and then you have to go to the second option uh, below the activation motor control set 001 click again on the arrow button and uh, and then you have to go to the services option that what are the services that are activated in your hardware so click on this services button and now what you have to find you have to find the ndu option so you will find you can see the, the letters are in alphabetical order so n option m and you can see there, this is an n option and here you, you have to find the ndu option so i will find ndu so you can see this is an ndu option click on this on the right side you will see some option below below you can see there is a button there is a little start and you have to click on the start double click and you can see edit default value with value here the value data is 2 but what you have to do you have to select the value data 4 and click ok so now what you have to do you have to restart the system so i will go to this window option and the power button and click restart after restart, we will come back. So friends, now we have restarted the system. So again, we will go to the task manager. For the task manager, on the top bar, you have to right click and choose task manager. And then you will go to the performance option. And here you can see the CPU speed 1.8, this is end utilization. You can see 34, 34%. And the memory also has reduced 2.6 GB in use and 5.3 GB available. The starting time of this video that the memory available is 348 MB. Now you can see the 5.3 GB is available. And also the disk space has been reduced. You can see only 2%, 0% activated. So you can see the C boost 33% memory, 3% disk space. So this is the first step that you have to apply to your system for the problem of high disk space use and high memory usage and so this is the first step so first of all you have to try this and if this not work for you then you have to apply the second step so so i will tell you the second step so what you have to do you have to go to again and run command and for the run command you have to type on the keyboard windows plus r key but also you can right click here and choose the run command and then you have to write services dot msc services dot msc and click ok so 
wait for the services or MSC option to open a visa for you. It will take some time, but don't worry. So now the services option has visa has been come now, and here you have to find the super fetch option. So you can see again the letters are in alphabetical order. So super fetch is from S, so to be S. Then we have to find the super fetch. So you can see this is a super fetch option. S U P E R F E T H. Again, we have to double click on it, and you can see in the super fetch properties total computer options. You can see the startup time time has been set up to automatic. So what you have to do, you have to select this disable as. Uh, if you want to recover your system performance and you want to improve the performance and solve the problem of high disk and high memory usage, you have to disable it and click apply and then ok. Then now again you have to restart the system. Again go to windows option and choose the power button and click restart. So, We'll come back up. So now we have restart our system. So again, go to the task manager. And for the task manager, the below ribbon, you will right click, choose task manager, and you can see in the process option, the CPU speed is 2930, memory is also reduced 34 percent and 4 percent is space. So this is the step second for those uh, in which uh, the first step doesn't work. You have to apply the second step. So this is the second step of this problem of high disk space uses of your laptop or a PC. So this is the process of solving the problem of high disk space and high disk memory usage. So I hope this, this process will work. And also friends, if you find this video useful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel IMP Technical Hub. And so that we can always give you these kinds of videos. So thank you for watching. Share.